Hey you guys, this is Boundary Goddesses in, and on the TV, there's a uh, old fashioned cartoon where this mouse is really trying to protect his cheese. And this fly that has no chill just keeps trying to take his cheese. No matter what, the uh, mouse has tied his cheese down with a string he hasn't even been able to enjoy the piece of cheese that he set aside for himself. And so this kind of is, um, it sounds like what the karmics are trying to possibly do to the viewer. Like, um, they see that you have a nice piece of cheese and they want some of it and they're not respecting Like that, no means no. So maybe you guys are thinking, you know, what else do I need to do to protect what's mine? You know, am I not good enough in this area? You know, spirit help me, my spirit team help me. You're on the right track, you guys, you know? We can only control ourselves. So welcome to this guided meditation to fully release self-doubt. Know that you're right where you need to be. So we're going to start off by closing our eyes and breathing naturally. What you're doing is you're creating your own place of serenity within yourself and outside of yourself. You're strengthening your energetic boundaries as well. Okay. So keep breathing at your own pace as I just take you on a journey. A bit of a shamanic journey. And, uh, so... In your mind, we're going to a place where we're at a park and there's people around us that you just set a place up for yourself. You feel the cool breeze on your skin, the beautiful grass beneath your toes, you know, and you're looking up at the sky. Now, it doesn't make sense but you start shrinking and all of a sudden the world where you once were you know you just seem to be completely a part of it now seems to become like a giant land to you and no need to fear and you start to shrink to who you are in the grass where you can see where the grass starts and when you look up, you can see where it ends. And it looks like you're in a four. And there's no need to panic. There's no need to. I'm never going to get back to my own side. This is just a moment to. Ha. Ah, this is a new experience. What can I learn from this? This has obviously happened for a reason. Now we could look at it. I can get myself out of this. Or we can look at it as. I'm right where I need to be. I've been looking at this from this place of let me be that same height. What if I'm able to see things from this height? You'll start to notice as you walk through this beautiful forest of grass blades. You'll see insects that you've never seen before. And instead of being afraid, Open the love in your heart and you'll notice that as you have love in your heart, they have love towards you. You'll see ants camping by, preparing for the winter. A spider goes by you and nods to you and keeps going. And you realize there's no, no need to be afraid. There's no need to think you always have to run away or get out of anything. That what you're saying right now 
something you're meant to be seeing. It's a blessing to be able to see this. I mean, how many people get to experience the world like this? You start to notice the sound that your feet make as it makes contact with the ground. And you start to notice that the ground is much more moist this way. And it's super healing. And you notice that there's no reason to be afraid. Of course, there's predators out here in the world. But you realize you're instinctual. In fact, throughout this journey, not only do you face predators, you also experience victory. And it's not because you went and took someone down, or you outsmarted someone. It's because you trusted your heart, and you knew that you would make it out. You knew you would learn something different and come back a brand new person. You knew deep down that this was no accident. That you were destined to be here. That you can never go back out into the world the way you once came. Because after seeing this, you start to realize a karmic ain't nothing. You fully trust in yourself. A karmic situation, a karmic place, a karmic person, they have nothing compared to nature. They are nothing compared to nature. And even the things of nature that, you know, come up against you, well, you trusted your instincts to get past these obstacles. Now you're about to come up against one. Okay. As you're walking, you sense that something is coming, something big. And you trust your instincts and you find the right place to momentarily hide as long as you need to. And you see a long giant snake slithering by. And your instinct tells you to still notice the uh, scales on the snake. And you notice the snake is looking for something. Now the fear in you says, run, run. But you know if you run, they'll see you. And they'll sense your movement. And you know that this is just a test. Now this snake has sent some bit of hesitation. But no need to worry. Now, while you're standing still, breathing, trusting yourself, something next to you out of fear move. And the snake catches your scent and the scent of it. No need to be afraid. You realize you should move. But from what you've surveyed about the snake and the direction that it's coming, it moves swiftly, silently, and you survey the area. And you believe that you have everything that you need to overcome this situation. Nothing is going to stop you. And lo and behold, you were once small, but now you start transforming into something greater than the snake. You start transforming into the snake's greatest nightmare. Because there's so much love in your heart. That you say, I'm going to face this fear. And you use your wit about you. And you prepare a trap for the snake. Starting with his tail. So that when it seeks to attack you, it ends up biting its own self and poisoning itself. And the cycle that it wanted to have you fearing it no more. Their plan works, and the snake ends up biting itself. 
Oof. And you start to see what happens when a snake poisons itself. Well, you hear a sound that puts you back into the reality. Once again, you're back at the park. Full size, but you know that what happened happened. And one would say you just had a dream, but you know that what you experienced happened. And you know that with the uh, new way of looking at things as you see things now, you completely trust yourself. You realize whatever comes your way, you're going to be able to handle it. You're going to be able to handle, handle everything that comes your way. You realize that facing your fears is one of the greatest things that you can do. And you realize that it's okay to just relax and enjoy this moment. And to just be... <sighs> because when something does come, you'll know. There are moments to enjoy and there are moments to fight. And right now it's not a moment to fight. You've already just endured a fight. No. Breathe. <sighs> relax your body. Keep relaxing. This will have you to have the energy you need to overcome the obstacles as they come towards you. And the secret that you now know is that those who war against you did not conserve their enemy <laughs> energy correctly. Oh, forgive me. They did not. And so when it is time to fight, they will be exhausted. They have used resources that could have been used to help others in order to hurt others instead of helping them. And there are consequences for that. That's none of your worries. Just keep breathing and relaxing. You're going to know what to do and how to handle the situation when it comes. <laughs> Doesn't it feel good to be in your own skin, trusting yourself like this? Knowing that you know when to relax and you know when to prepare and how to prepare. And doesn't it feel good knowing that you've always been prepared deep down inside? That everything you need has always been inside you. And you know you can get up and do anything that you put your mind to. So what's going to be best for your higher self? <sighs> Breathe. That's the direction. It's best to commit yourself to right now. And as you commit yourself to that direction, you know that you're going to be able to handle anything that comes your way. Have a good day, you guys.